he's forgotten somehow and lost in the forest at least five years. I think he was a bit shell-shocked when he arrived. He couldn't really see because the wool had grown over his eyes. It must have been so incredibly painful. A local chap saw this mammoth moving amongst the trees and had to look twice and it turned out to be the sheep so he texted us to see if we could take the sheep on which we readily said yes. <laughs> I can't imagine how he survived but he did. Another sheep was with him, she didn't know everything's okay. This is a good place to be, old mate. He had over 35 kilos worth of wood on him. That tells how long the poor fellow had been out there. We had to get the police off, but we knew that was a huge risk to his health and safety, but leaving it on was a greater risk. It took really an hour to, to get up because we had to go into hand scissors and it was mounted and he had bits of sticks and twigs, all sorts of things in his wool. I really believe he knew we were helping him. He stood there and let us do it, which was just amazing because he was obviously scared but he also felt comfort in the, the things that we were, were doing for him. When we got the fleece off him, we finally relieved him of his burden. As he walked down the alleyway, he started to get stronger in his legs. And he had Chloe and Molly down on the other side so they could see each other through the stalls. Yeah. That's the best side. Mm. He just stands there and curiously looks at us. He is so intelligent. He's got a pretty, a pretty good life now. He's certainly got more confident. Barack has evolved every single day to the wonderful being that he is. We are just so grateful that Barack came into our world. <laughs>